Okay, we're here with Glenn Foot at his gym. We're at East Durham, East Durham College, East Durham College uh, following on from his success on the 30th of November against William Warburton. A nice tune-up fight ahead of your biggest fight next year. Glenn, how's things going? I'm just glad to get there. Um, six fans with William Warburton. Yeah, he's a tricky opponent. What are you saying? He's got good feet work and he's just riding the shots, really. I'm just glad he got the six rounds off and um, just looking forward to 2015. So you've got Ahmed Patterson? Ahmed Patterson um, on the 20th of February, uh, 02. Um, he's an unbeaten fighter it's for English and British eliminator. Um, just can't wait to uh, get going and look forward to this biggest fight in your career. Well, the thing is, obviously, after the prize fighter success, you've had obviously some, some injuries and a lot of people, when they win the prize fighter, it's a, it's a launch pad for yeah. them, where that launch pad that should have been there for you was sort of taken from yeah. under you. Yeah. So there's been a delay to getting these sort of fights. Well, I had the injury, but previous before that, I was, I was supposed to be fighting for the, the British British eliminator. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Larry Condi pulled out. Yeah. And so I ended up boxing John Brennan for a four round fight. So I should have been champion last year. Yeah. Just to ride a bit unlucky. Unlucky in my career at the moment. Bad luck, but. We'll get there now, 2015 it, is the biggest time in life. It goes in spells, and I think obviously fighting at the start of it, you can, you can think 2015, I mean, you don't know what 2016 is going to bring yet either, if, you obviously, if, if, yeah. if 15 goes well, but you've got, so you've got two unbeaten fighters, unbeaten. Um, he's also had a, a recent win over one of your... Uh, Chad Gainer. Chad Gainer, because obviously he, he, he was calling you out, wasn't he? Chad, <laughs> I laugh when Chad Gainer called call us out, like, want the more rounds. He looked, he looked to stop there for, for the three rounds of the prize fight. Yeah. So if it was ten rounds, he would, I would have stopped him like Armand Patterson did. Yeah. In, un, in under five rounds. Yeah. So he, he had a look at his skip of uh, keep it away from us. So what do you know about Patterson? Just, just off the amateurs, Patterson, um, and I've just watched a, a few of his clips on YouTube. Um, he's a tidy boxer. Um, I'll have no problem with him. Um, he, he kind of brings out the table that I can give, so... Love him, not a problem. Brilliant. Definitely Seven. English champion. Ranking for Frankie Gavin after that. Frankie Ooh. Gavin? Fun time with Frankie. Had, well, did you see his fight against Skeet? I said I had him down as winning that fight. Uh, Skeet had a good game plan, getting his boxing. Uh, he just, at the end, he should have put it on Frankie Gavin. He didn't put it on him. It was, yeah. it was a borrow fight to watch. Um, but. Frankie Gavin, he knows when I'll fight them, I'll be putting on them and he's <laughs> not about that. Now that's what you call fight and talk. So obviously the fight with Warburton, I think, I think that was a perfect preparation because n very few people get Warburton out of there. But we're just, I'm just glad to get the six rounds, get the ring rust off, just get my head back on the job and I'm just looking, fight, looking forward to this fight now against Patterson and get back to the gym and about reality really. Well, we'll uh, we're going to do a feature on yourself before the, the Patterson fight, so we'll be back down the gym, we'll, uh, we'll be seeing you again there soon, but all the very best, Cheers, thanks guys. again, bye-bye. There we're gone. <laughs>